Okay, so recently I've been trying to install Mesh Mixer on my computer. If you don't know anything about Mesh Mixer, let me give you a quick run through. It's a piece of software that allows you to do, if I guess, um, mesh. You could prep things for 3D printing is really the most useful part of this tool. I am a big fan of FreeCAD and Blender. And the reason that I really need Mesh Mixer is because I'm trying to do resin 3D printing and the support structure that is um, that Mesh Mixer offers is ideal for that. And I have not been able to find software um, as good as Mesh Mixer to do that. So I um, recently, I do use Ubuntu, and I recently um, tried to install this on my Windows side. There's that's the only reason I even keep a Windows site is so that, you know, s software that isn't really meant for Linux, I'd be able to install run and for some reason it still wasn't working. So yeah, anyways, the um, I tried running it on Wine recently. I do have a Wine on my computer. And the, uh, I guess some of the older versions of Wine would do it. And then a uh, more recent version, I guess in 2016, um, required a uh, was missing just a, a link library and the but the newest version of wine I've been unable to get it to run mesh mixer it just crashes actually I can uh, just show you real quick uh, here we go so you can see that the icon starts and then it crashes it doesn't even open up anything um, it's probably because of the uh, It's probably because of that missing link library. I'm not 100% sure, but again, uh, if you type in wine mesh mixer, um, they still have it as, anyways, bottom line, it doesn't work for wine anymore. So if you, if you want to install it, um, I, you know, I did uh, some Googling and I haven't installed it yet, but there is um, somebody from the Mesh Mixer forum that is saying that we can install it from the, uh, um, with an image that he created with the, uh, after installing Docker. Now I've never done that before, but um, the steps seem pretty simple. So I just wanted to walk through them. Um, I guess uh, I'm going to try posting this link in the YouTube address, but the, uh, or in the YouTube I guess on the video, but if you don't, uh, if you don't happen to see it, this is this is what it is right here. So mixmixerforum.com forward slash index dot php uh, question mark topic equals four six one eight dash or sorry um, period zero. So, anyways, we'll see if this works. Do 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 again. This is two thousand eighteen. It's uh, February of 2018, the end of February. So let's give this a shot real quick. Uh, going back to the forum, uh, we're going to open up the Docker website thingy. Looks like there's a Docker for Macintosh, AWS, Fedora, CentOS, Windows, Azure, and Ubuntu is what I got. Sometimes I will use Debian. Um, let's see what Ubuntu has to offer. Okay. And again, I'm just, I'm walking through this myself, but the, I've, I've noticed I don't really have a lot of motivation to make tutorials after I've already done it. So, but I, I recognize that is that there's a need. So yeah, I'm making it. Okay. So we're going to go to Docker, Ubuntu is the best way to install the Docker platform to environment simply Docker features, features and benefits, easy installation, available as a free download, stable release. You need a 64-bit version. And I believe I'm using 1604. I'm just going to go to... Uh, so it's it says right here that you, you need to be using one of these versions of Ubuntu. And if you don't know how to do that, you just click on here. I'm going to hit about my computer. It should just pop up in a second. 
and I'm using that's the sandy bridge. Okay, sixteen point oh four, which is this one. Yay! Okay, so let's click on the installation link. Uninstall old version. For Ubuntu 16.4 and higher, the Linux kernel includes support for Overlay FS and Docker. Use the Overlay storage driver by default if you need to use instead. Need to configure it manually. I don't care. Uh, install Docker. Install using the repository. I actually prefer this. Um, so I'm just going to open up a terminal right here. If you don't have a the terminal icon, you can always go to the top, search your computer, type in terminal. I have it locked to my bar because I use it all the time. Okay, and I probably already have updated this recently enough to to run it. Oh, by the way, um, the uh, if you're copying stuff, you know, um, into your terminal, if you select it, you hit Control. Um, C, right? And then you hit Control Shift V to paste it into the terminal. Okay, so like, yeah. Anyways, that's that. Okay, install package to allow app to use repository. Okay. Package list. What just happened? Oh, is that meant to have the, uh... Let's see real quick. Oh, it looks right. <laughs> not that I'm the greatest at using Linux, because I'm obviously not, I'm just... Use them. I'm experienced, but I'm not like the greatest. Verify that you have the key fingerprint. Okay. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to copy and paste this stuff. Okay. Okay, that was, went through. So, what did this do? So install packages to allow app to use repository. Okay, yep. Add official key. We did that. Verify that you now have the key fingerprint by searching for the last eight characters of the fingerprint. Forgot how to search in a terminal. Search a command line for Keith. Let's see if there's any other way to do this. No idea. Nope. I know I'm terrible. We'll verify that you now have the key of the fingerprint by searching the last eight characters of the fingerprint. Oh. <laughs> oh, that actually, they actually have the code right here for you. <laughs> Wow. I don't know why you have to sudo that though. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Um, so we looked for the key, fingerprint had put the last four on there. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, looks right. Yep, okay. So we got the, key, the fingerprint. Let me just uh, put that back on there. Okay, next step. Use the following command to set up the stable repository. You also need to need the stable repository even if you want to install builds from edge to test to add the edge to test repository. I, you know, honestly, I don't know everything about Docker. I'm just installing it. So <laughs> um, maybe in the future I might care. Use the following command line to set up the stable repository. Okay, so the following command. Just gonna 
copy that. I'm gonna paste it in. Holy cow. That was super fast. I don't even know if it did anything. You know what? Uh, no, I think it probably did. Okay. Stable, okay. Install Docker. Now this is where we get to really find out if I did it right, right? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Yeah. So assuming that um, we just created, so w what we just did here in theory, we, I guess, allowed the our computer to um, download the repository that we needed. We confirmed the key for it, and we confirmed the fingerprint for it. Then we updated the repository, or and now we're updating the repository. <clears throat> let's see. While that's updating, let's see the next. Uh, now, um, hopefully, I did this part right. I'm not sure if I did, because I don't. I think I might have exited it out before I'd actually like completed it. But we will see. So, if I did not do that part right, even though I just copied and pasted it, I might forgot to have hit enter or something I don't know um, but if I assuming I did it right and that works the next step would be install the latest version of docker go to the next solution then literally we could just type in app get install docker okay so let's see if we did it yes so I, I just hit Y for yes and that looks like it's doing it Yay! Okay. Reading database. Okay. Got multi Docker repositories. Production system. You should install a very specific version of Docker instead of always using the latest. The output is. Production systems, you should install a production systems. Uh, I don't know about that. Don't know if I have a production system. Verify that Docker C is installed correctly by running Hello World image. Ooh, that sounds fun. Well, let's see where we are. Uh, it's still processing. Oh, did it do it? Yep, it did. Okay. No, we don't want to install the Docker. In theory, we just did that. We want to copy and paste that. Downloaded. Hello, world from Docker. This message shows you that your installation appears to be working correctly. To generate this message, Docker took the following steps. The Docker client contacted the Docker daemon. Daemon pulled out the hello world image from the Docker hub. Docker created a new container image which runs the executable blah 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 Tr to try something more ambitious you can run a Ubuntu container with the docker apparently we need x11 support I'll copy and paste that in there and first take a look at what I'm <laughs> installing first okay so we are taking it from there okay permission denied huh Uh, let's sudo this. I don't know exactly. Wait, sudo docker. Okay. Sudo allowed me to have permission. Yay. And, they, you know, that is actually a pretty cool interface. Um, I, I kind of like the dynamic text-based downloading screen stuff. <laughs> Huh. You would appreciate it if you actually program in a <laughs> with with Bash and all that fun stuff. Anyways, okay. Well, that's downloading. <clears throat> that's not too big. I wonder why everything's laggy right now. Holy cow! Okay, yeah, it's just the um. 
<coughs> Let's check it cover. Okay. Um, mesh mixer just popped up. Hey, that's a good sign. I don't know if uh. Close out all these windows real quick. Okay. But before I do that, I, I was I feel like I skipped a step. Huh. Huh? What? It's running. Okay. Um that that did it. I didn't even go through these steps and it just did it, huh? Um, why is that? What what just happened? Okay, so I was thoroughly surprised on how easy it actually was to install Docker and get Mesh Mixer running. Um, and th what I decided to do is take some time off screen and figure out how to get it running with this icon. Anyways, so this is an old Mesh Mixer icon that I uh, put here from when I was installing it on Wine. All I did is um, resize the icon. I can do it again. Because uh, I want to start using this more often um, and then what I did is <clears throat> I originally just um, went to properties and I put in the code that I wanted which was the uh, the mixer code here I'll open up the the window again uh, you know what actually I could show you how to get to the uh, to Google the um, the docker docker mesh mixer all Linux install all Linux distributions. Here we go. This is the one I was looking at. Okay. Um, yeah, so again, it was easy as going to the, clicking on the website, um, just copying and pasting the, the terminal commands, right? You want to put the meshes that you're editing in your shared files. And the um, this actually creates the shared folder automatically. I don't think you actually have to you know, copy and paste the make directory um, code right here. Uh, what I had to do is give um, rights to that folder. So I actually did the uh, uh, command, I think 777, you know, and it to that directory. So I had to give it administrative rights um, so that I can copy and paste stuff into that folder. So I can actually show you that real quick, I guess I can do that. Um, if I were to go to my home, the where's the folder the shared folder shared directory okay this originally was locked uh, but what you can do is you can open it up and i actually put my stl file in here so um yeah so and anything that you put in there you can access and edit from the mesh mixer so anyways um now this code right here all i did is um copy and paste it onto that to that link so I'll just go back to the icon, desktop. Okay, so again, it was originally, I just copied and pasted it here. I made sure that it was, uh, that it would open it up in my terminal. So I put GNOME, you know, dash terminal space dash E for execute, right? And so it would execute that code. And that, But the other problem that I had is that the, uh, it was trying to run it from the original wine path. So what I did is I just opened up gedit, you can use any text editing software. Probably don't want to use um, OpenOffice or something like that. Not something that was meant for, you know, reports and fancy stuff. Just a basic text editor. I can even do LeafPad. Okay. But uh, and then I just go to Open and Desktop. And if you don't see it. It might, it might be a hidden file. You can hit Control H to show all your hidden files. But right here, it's a mess, mesh mixer. Oh, wait, actually, is that the one I used? Yeah, mesh mixer dot desktop. So that's, this is the icon. And what I did is I, uh, I commented out the path um, with the hashtag. And I edited my own, um, what do you call it? My own code. So this is going to be executing the uh oh darn it oh interesting uh even though it, the desktop icon let's see the uh
Oh, no, no. It's it's doing it. So it's running the command um, for icon that I put in Mesh Mixer. So in my uh, home folder I put under Mesh Mixer, I have an icon code. And it's uh, sudo docker. So it runs the code. I copied and pasted the code that was for here, right? Now, um, I think that ideally... It wouldn't be you wouldn't just be using this code. You'd actually be using the mesh mixer dot text. I can open that up real quick. Uh, see, you know what? I don't need to open it up real quick because I actually have it saved. Dot shell. Do, 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 do. So the uh, again, ideally, I guess you're supposed to run the the shell script that he provided. But I'm not going to lie, I was unable to make it smoothly work with my icon setup, and so I didn't care to, like, uh, I guess, pursue. Here we go. Yeah. So in theory, and I was trying to get the, uh... yeah, I just couldn't get it to work smoothly. Um, so yeah, so anyways, so I changed, bottom line, is you go to your desktop, you go to, um, you, in a text editor, I was able to open up the uh, icon, de whatever the name of your icon is, dot desktop, right? You can change the executable, you change the path, right? You can set the executable to your icon code, which is really just um, this code that, you know, that runs the Docker mesh mixer with the, um, and I put the uh, sudo in front of it. So here's what happens. When you have it set up like that, all I have to do is click on my mesh mixer. I'll type in my password. Notice again, it opened it up in the terminal, right? <sighs> Do -do -do. Might just take a second. Hit accept. This happens every time, the accept thing. And what I can do is open, oh, not, not open, I didn't save anything, but import. And I can go to documents, or home. Oh, holy. Shared documents, there we are. And there's base, the STL file that I put in there. Yep, and that's it. So um, yeah, so you could just copy and paste the files that you want. And then again, yeah, you can just edit them and life is good. So that's how to do it. That's how I did it at least. So hope you enjoy this. And um, again, thank you for contributing the code for this. I owe you one. And I know I probably butchered half this. Uh, I apologize for that. Hey, you know what? If you guys have any comments on how to, um, I don't know, make this run more smoothly, including the icon or the installation, let me know. Uh, leave some notes in the comments and... Yeah, just don't hate on my video. Anyways, have a good day, guys.